So we pull the tab back here, we do get a little welcome sign here, printed on the packaging, and we shall open it up the right way. Oh, and there you go, that's right at the top of it. Here is a tablet, we'll put that aside for the time being. And here we get the, uh, well, what looks like it, a 60 day trial of Norton antivirus. See overleaf for details. All right, let's take a look. Internet security. Oh, that's, that's not too bad. I mean, at least they include a trial like that. I'll just use Windows Defender or Microsoft Security Essentials. So I'll put that aside. Let's take this out. Put that aside too. And here we do have some documentation. That the Skype camp pamphlet there. So I'll put that aside too. And the um, user information guide, or the manual for it. I guess this would also include the warranty documentation. I'm guessing anyway. User information guide, I guess it would be the easy start. Or the, uh, the symbol warnings. The actual symbols main. So we'll take a look at that a bit later. And there you go, we've got the CIA, it's there, Certificate of Authenticity. So I'll put all those aside and coming in the box, we've got a AC to USB power adapter with a Windows 8 logo on it. As you can see, it's there. That's pretty fancy. And what looks like a micro USB adapter, I think. That might even be a Toshiba proprietary adapter. Who knows? That's what it looks like. Which, that is quite, quite different. You don't say that every day, do you? Windows 8 logo on a charger. And now, to the main part that we've all been waiting for, especially me. So here we have the important notice, software products pre-installed on your computer at copyrighted works. Please carefully read all the license agreements finished with the computer, or furnished with the computer. If you look at it properly. And got the uh, plastic bag warning in all different languages. That's correct. Don't put the plastic bag over your head. You can suffer. Which is plain obvious. And if we can take the packaging out without ripping it up, that'd be good. Looks sort of like, sort of like the iPad Mini, I guess. And here is the tablet we've all been waiting for. Toshiba. The Toshiba logo. Windows 8 start button logo. And I guess this little button here would power the machine on. Let's hit that. As it needs to be plugged in for its first boot. Its battery is obviously completely drained. The Toshiba uh, UEFI BIOS or UFI BIOS, I think it is. So I'll set the system date, the time. There we go, 2 gigs of RAM, Intel Atom, 1.33 gigahertz. And Samsung SSD that has easy access to a power point because it turns out that the battery was completely drained. Now we're in the process of setting it up with the on screen keyboard. So we'll just do this nice and quick. And connect up to the Wi-Fi. Just skip that part there. Verifying connecting. We'll customise that. And um, yes, we'll set that up. And I might as well leave automatic updates on with this type of connection here. Turn the error reporting off. Turn all of this off. I'd prefer Microsoft not to stalk me. And set up the account. So I'll sign into Microsoft. And we're just into this part now. I think it's the final step of um, setting it up. No need to have SkyDrive, I don't really see the point in having online storage. And there we go, it'll restart and we'll be back. It seems to be the boot screen on these Toshiba tablets. I don't know if it's the same with the Toshiba laptops, but the Microsoft Windows logo has been replaced with the Toshiba logo.
How about that? Hi. I'll just wait for that to set up and complete this part of the, um, I don't know, would you call it a sign-in? We're back with the review a few hours later after testing out this very nifty little device. And I've got to say, it's working like an absolute dream. It's um, flawless. Windows 8.1 has really brought out um, a tremendous amount of updates and um, patches and bug fixes, or 8.11 I think it is. It's the second Windows 8.1 update. So there is the sleek and stylish tablet sitting on the desk. Well, taking a look at the included items with it, the documentation and whatnot, we have a 60-day trial of the Norton Internet Security, which is quite generous. That comes pre-installed on the tablet. A Skype one month of worldwide free calls complimentary pamphlet with a redemption code on the back of it. The user information guide. So if we open the book, it just has the um, safety icons and indicators and how to set it up, quick start guide and whatnot. We won't go through it. Uh, a further instruction manual for the safety and the comfort warranty documentation and the Microsoft product identifier and the box of course. So of course the long awaited Toshiba tablet is finally out, the Encore 8 and this is what it looks like on the well, in the unlock position just sitting on the new UI as it's called. It was renamed from the Metro start screen or the Metro interface a couple of years back. So as you can see on the front we've got the Toshiba logo two stereo speakers which have fairly decent sound, a Windows key shortcut button that in this case Start 8 is installed so if I do tap it it will take us to the desktop and uh, to go back to the menu just hit that tab there. It's a 8 inch LED backlit screen with a funny resolution of 800 by 1280 although I guess it makes sense for the type of screen since it can either be landscape or portrait or horizontal, vertical, whatever you want to call it. So taking a closer look at the top of it we've got a light sensor here and a built-in front facing camera that actually has fairly decent video quality. And on the back of it it almost has an iPad mini design to it. You wouldn't really be able to notice a difference if it weren't for that Toshiba logo there, I don't think, or apart from the Apple logo. So it's rather thin. I don't know the actual diameters of it, and I'm sure that would be available online. And if I can find that out, I will attach it to this video. You've got the Toshiba logo at the base of it, at the bottom of it, with some further information about the device. The rear-facing camera, which I think it is either 5 megapixels or 8 megapixels. I'll have to double check on that. And we have the micro USB port on the top there and the HDMI out for connecting to a television or whatever. A 3.5mm audio jack and microphone jack. So um, you can't use both at once unless you've got headphones with a built-in microphone that has the um, the three segments on the same jack. It is possible and stereo microphones as seen just here which is a nice feature to it, a nice add-on. And the power slash lock toggle button and the volume adjustment buttons and it has a rather nice sort of um, matte finish to it I guess you could call it. It's plastic but it still feels rather sturdy and solid. And holding it from this position you get a better look of it, of what it actually looks like when it's actually being held. And it fits into, well, the palm of my hand, alright. It's um, not droppable, but it varies from person to person, I guess. That's what it looks like when it's locked and the screen's off. That's just fingerprints from use. No actual scratches or anything to it. And this tablet is running a full version of Windows 8.1 with some recent updates and improvements. And I've got to say, it's extremely responsive. Uh, there is no glitching that I've been able to tell whatsoever in the past four or five hours of use. And um, as you can see, 
we can scroll down here and see all the applications installed at the moment on it. There's not too much apart from just the um, pre-installed applications and some desktop applications like a few down here and of course you can search them using the on-screen keyboard as seen here. And accessing the desktop is extremely easy. Just tap the desktop uh, tile there and it brings you straight to the desktop. And I'm currently in the portrait position, all that can be changed to horizontal just by picking it up and holding it. And as you can see, it will fade with a transparent effect to the horizontal position. Start 8 is installed on this tablet. Uh, on this version and it is um, a great piece of software as you can see there's the start menu and to uh, right click on objects you long press or long hold then release your finger or whatever and you can bring up in further information about the machine on another note battery life ranges from four to seven or eight hours depending on the way you use it and what tasks you perform and looking at some further specs of this device with cpu z you can see that it's running the intel atom z3740 cpu chip in it it's bay trail t with the code name it's socket 1380 bga so it's non-removable although that's no surprise it has SSE 4.2 and 64-bit emulation technology uh, and it can or it will run up to 1.33 gigahertz or thereabouts when it's in use but when it's just idling as you can see here it is um, idling around 533 megahertz the bus speed is um, I think it's 400 megahertz I'll have to double check on that but the same thing uh, when it's not in use and it's just idling um, that will hover around 133 megahertz and the level 2 cache is 1024 kilobytes or 1 megabyte taking a look at the main board it's Toshiba Encore Intel Bay Trail chipset and the BIOS date so it's not too old when it was manufactured the RAM 2 gigabytes of built-in DDR3 RAM that runs at 533 megahertz and we get no information on the SPD graphics it just has the standard Intel HD graphics I should also point out that it does as a matter of fact have Bluetooth enabled in it and just for Darcy demonstration Darcy purposes Darcy we're viewing a 1080p YouTube video Maybe at the moment which is quite not, recent no, I came here just for this, so. so we'll open this up and put it on the full screen and what got you into the act that you're doing today? and as you can see it's playing just fine with no dramas Scrolling through web pages and viewing websites is quite easy too. It has no pastiness to the display as you're scrolling. It has no lag to websites like this. And you can zoom into things with no problems either. As seen here. And just change tabs on your preferred web browser. As seen here. I think this page has actually glitched up a bit. This is just a glitch with this particular website, but it is very responsive. And um, previous viewers would recognize this from early 2012. So thanks for viewing my Toshiba Encore 8 unboxing and review video. If you liked it, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel.